Welcome everybody, it's Chris Johnstone here. Welcome to how I generated 99 leads in 29 days on autopilot and how you can do even better than me with less work. And before we get into the actual content today, showing you how to set this system up in your local marketplace, I wanted to provide you with the proof behind the headline because I know it is a little bit of a, an outrageous statement, 99 leads in 29 days. This is a screenshot from inside our Google AdWords pay-per-click advertising account, which is how we're driving some of the traffic that we're generating with this system. And you can see up in the top, there was 29 days that we ran this marketing test in June. You'll have to excuse me here. Yes, folks, this is live. <laughs> so we ran this test for 29 days in June, and in the bottom right-hand corner, four columns over from the, um, from the right, you can see it says conversions. And at the bottom, you can see that we generated 142 conversions. That's 142 leads in a span of 29 days. I know in the marketing and promotion that you saw for this event, it said 99 leads in 29 days. It just sounded a little bit better. It was actually 142. Our average lead cost was $13.43 for every lead that came through this system. And you can see on the right under conversion rate, our web pages that were converting this traffic converted at 13.31% through this 29 day test. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up in today's event. I'm gonna show you the ads that we're running that are performing so well. I'm gonna show you the landing pages and how we're converting the traffic. And then I'm gonna show you how you can generate all of this traffic and all of these leads in your business for free using this really cool allied associates concept that we've brought to the marketplace. Now, as impressive as that may be, I thought that you would really like this screenshot. This is recent as of a couple days ago, and this is what we have done with this system since that screenshot was taken in June. You can see that that conversion number has jumped up quite a bit. We're now at 9,476 leads that have been generated since we launched this program. You can see our conversion rate still pretty solid, 12.57% of actual people that are leaving their information on these pages and our total budget amount spent funneled through this campaign $180,377.81. The only reason that I show you this stuff is not to brag or be weird or anything like that. It's just to show you that this is a proven business model. It's not a concept of something that we think might be nice, which is normally what you get on these webinars. This is solid information that will help you build your business when you implement it. And just right up front, being completely transparent with everybody, yes, at the end of this presentation, I am going to offer to do all of the techie stuff for you so that you can have this system set up in your local marketplace and I'm only going to work with one person per market. I'll explain how all of that works after, but we've got to make sure that this is a good fit for your business. So let's get into the actual content and show you how to set all of this up in your business. So on today's lesson, this is how to generate a reliable stream of leads from online marketing that runs on autopilot, which means that once you set it up once, it runs in the background without you having to maintain it. How to run online ads that actually generate quality local traffic of leads that are only in your local marketplace and how to convert targeted local traffic to real leads in your inbox. Not just traffic to your website, but real people that you can talk to. And I'm going to show you how to set up this marketing strategy so it makes you money before you even close your first loan from running the system. And I think you're going to find that really interesting. So what you're getting today is a complete walkthrough of all the steps you need to create the system. I'm not leaving anything behind the curtain. You're getting my personal mindset hack to help program you for marketing success with this program and 
a $100 Google pay-per-click advertising credit so that you can go out and try this on your own without having to buy anything on this actual webinar event. And I'll be giving those away at the end of our time together. I'll also be sticking around for all of your Q&A at the end. I'll stick around for at least half an hour, just making sure that I get everybody's questions answered about the actual program. So while we're going through this event, if you have a question that comes up, open up the GoToWebinar control panel, type your question in, and I will make sure that I get to it at the end of the event. Now, there's a really big problem in the mortgage industry, and I have seen this, you know, I've traveled across Canada and the United States four years in a row now speaking for the Canadian Association of Accredited Mortgage Professionals, Dominion Lending Centers, First National Financial. I've been very, very fortunate to have been able to partner up with a lot of these organizations and speak to thousands of mortgage brokers and loan officers. And many of us suffer from the same problem. It's that most mortgage professionals are incredibly skilled at the mortgage business, but have never actually completed an online marketing funnel from start to finish. And what that means is that most of us all understand that online marketing is incredibly powerful, but very few of us in the industry are actually generating leads that come from the internet and, and generating them on a consistent basis. And this results in us bouncing around from one technique to another, creating these little small rainbows of income, but never putting a long-term marketing system in place. And this puts our careers and our income at the mercy of market fluctuations and regulatory pressure. And just to speak to this a little bit more, as a consultant, this is one of the things that I harp on all the time with my clients is that you can't move to the next method of marketing until you have systematized the first one. And that is how you create exponential growth in your business. So once you get a marketing system that works and you run it for three months and this other shiny object comes along, we all have the tendency to jump onto the new shiny thing and push that forward and drive that project. But we forget about the thing that was working. We just stopped it because something else came up. What's very important for us to understand is that if we put a system and automation behind that, it will continue to produce the same result, continue to generate the same income while we plug the new marketing method into it. And that's what this really is. It's a system that you can put in place that you can then build on top of and really build a career out of it. But before we build that career, we got to get some things straight. Yes, you really can create an online marketing machine yourself, but you have to know how to do it right. And when it comes to online marketing, one of the hugest myths that I see out there about social media and making money online is that it's all free traffic and it's free to market on the internet. Well, it is, but if you're looking for a reliable system, it's not you have to spend money on ads if you're going to generate reliable streams of leads. It's why Google is one of the biggest companies in the world. Yahoo may be catching up. Facebook, it's why after their valuation, they were worth so much. It's because they sell advertising and the advertising grows year after year, month after month, because it is a phenomenal way to get clients the other piece that we're missing is we have to run ads and we have to drive people to another type of website. And don't worry if you're not super techie, I'm going to offer to help set all of this up for you. Now, that other type of website, I'm actually going to take you through and show you a live demonstration of the pages that we're running. Now, to be totally clear, because I value your time and I want this to be right for you, and I want you to know up front, the greatest opportunity with this system requires you to work with a top producing real estate partner. So if you're not interested in dealing with real estate agents, this event is not for you. It's just, we have to partner with a real estate partner in order to make this work. Yes, this strategy works in small towns and major cities in both Canada and the US. It doesn't really matter where you're located 
And yes, this strategy works even with all the changes to our industry lately. It's even gotten more powerful because all of the fluctuations in the housing and mortgage market are driving people online to do more online research to make better educated decisions. And that's when we're capturing these leads. Now, I just wanted to share a little bit about myself. It's always awkward to kind of talk about myself, so I'll go through this reasonably quickly, but I wanted to let you know who I am just because I know that many of you here on the event really haven't met me yet. You don't know me from Adam, so I wanted to share with you just a couple of minutes about my story. Um, I joined the mortgage business with my dad at just 25 years old. That was roughly around the 2008-2009 mark. And when I got into the business, I suffered the same rainbow of income that we were talking about earlier. When I got into the business, I went out and I tried to duplicate all of the things that I saw all of the other successful brokers doing. So I was doing, at that time, uh, print ads, bench signs, billboards, flyer drops, direct mail campaigns. And everything that I was doing was basically just getting me by. And I would make enough money just to pay for the advertising and make a little bit of a paycheck. It was very difficult getting into the mortgage business. And I had my career changed by using pay-per-click marketing to get a front page ranking on the major search engines. I remember sitting down with my dad one night and saying, man, this print stuff, it's just craziness. What, like, how can I better build my business? And at this time, there was still a debate really going on as to whether or not you could help build your business using the power of the internet. So we decided that the internet was going to be a bigger thing than what some people thought. And we decided that we were going to figure out how to generate leads. Well, to keep a long story short, over the next three and a half years, I spent over a quarter million dollars on Google Pay Per Click. And I discovered that in the mortgage industry, if I was going to go online and try and buy traffic in my local marketplace, I could not outspend or outcompete the major banks. All the major banks would lose money on their advertising just to price me as the little guy out of the marketplace. The other realization that I had was that. If I advertised on Google and paid to be there and I advertised for real estate, my only competition was another local real estate person in that marketplace and I then had a shot and I was able to compete. Now, I didn't think that it was going to turn out this way. It just happened this way, but it turns out. I don't know if you've ever heard the phrase, everybody wants a home, nobody wants a mortgage, but that's a very true statement. And the majority of our customers that are coming into the marketplace that need per, that are purchase leads, that need mortgage financing to buy a house, they start on the real estate side first. So just by the very virtue that I couldn't buy my way on the mortgage side under the front, I started buying my way onto the real estate side generating real estate leads and giving those real estate leads to realtors in return for referrals back from them. And it ended up working incredibly well. It worked so well that within that three and a half year period, I transitioned fully out of the mortgage business into being a full-time internet marketer, generating real estate leads in local real estate marketplace. And I did all the techie work to generate tens of thousands of real estate leads across North America. I helped generate millions of dollars in transactions for my successful clients. And then one beautiful Tuesday morning, I still remember it like it was yesterday, 2010, I hopped out of bed, I ran over to my computer first thing in the morning and I opened up my email expecting to see what I saw every morning, which was just leads that the internet had generated for me without doing any work overnight. And there was no leads in my inbox. And that is known as the Google slap. There was one email in my inbox from Google that said, Dear Mr. Johnstone, thank you very much for your advertising budget. We really appreciate it, but we're no longer running your ads on our network. And just like that, overnight, I was out of business in the real estate lead generation business. Now, there is a continuation to that story. 
why did Google kick me out of the pay-per-click marketing space? Well, at that time, they were changing their search engine to go local, and they wanted to go local with local business owners. I was a middleman, and they cut all of the middlemen out of the marketplace. It wasn't just me. I hadn't done anything wrong, hadn't violated any terms of service, but Google was going direct to the customers. Well, here's the good news. We're back, baby. And with a little twist that's worth millions of dollars for us as loan officers and mortgage brokers. Now, let me show you in real time how this lead generation system will work for you. I'm going to hop out of the actual PowerPoint presentation and hop into my actual browser. And we're going to hop over here and we're going to do a Google search. And just so that everybody can see that this is live, we're actually going to refresh the browser. We'll head over to Google. Here we are, google.com, and we're going to do a search for Milton Real Estate. Um, if you're not from Ontario, you're not from Canada, Milton is one of the larger markets just outside of a place called Mississauga, growing like crazy. It's actually one of the fastest growing real estate markets in Canada right now. And when somebody types in Milton Real Estate, you can see that this front page is basically broken down into three sections. So this area up here that has this yellowy background behind it, these are paid for advertisements. Same thing with these down the right hand side. These three up at the top here are organic or SEO optimized. And then this seven pack down here, these are local businesses that are being ranked. And we'll talk about that a little bit later in this presentation. So up here at the top, you can see in the number two position, we've got real estate Milton over 1,000 of free local listings. Sounds like a little bit of a weird headline, but converts really well. What we're doing is we're telling people that they can search for real estate in this local marketplace. When people click on this listing, they go to our website, searchmiltonrealestate.com, and they end up on this incredibly ugly landing page. I know this is not a good looking website, but it's designed like that for a reason. Just like I showed you at the beginning of the presentation, this page converts over 10% of the people that land on it to leave us their name, their phone number, their email address, and the information on what type of home they're looking for. Now, here's how it works and why lead page design is so important. Over here on the right hand side, we have a map that shows them Milton. This is the area where they're looking for real estate. Now, this is important for two reasons. One, it gets them interested and they know that they're going to get relevant information so they want to continue on in the process. B, it takes anybody that's outside of our marketplace that we don't want to do business with and excludes them from our campaign. So we're not going to get leads that aren't targeted to our marketplace. Over here on the left, they select their property type, whether they're looking for a detached or a condo, and then they select the neighborhood in that specific marketplace that they're looking for. They click on continue, and then we say, okay, great. We know where you're looking for real estate. What type of real estate are you looking for? And they fill out house, condo, minimum, maximum, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms. Now, I skipped over one really important point here. We're going to go back. Why does this website convert so well? I just saw that question come across the chat roll, so I'll answer that right now. Right up here at the top, it says, are you looking for real estate in Milton? This website was created for you to help make your real estate buying decision much easier. Simply let us know what type of property you're looking for, and one of our licensed experts will put together a custom list of Milton homes just for you. When people are out searching, everybody tells me they've got access to Realtor.ca. They've got re access to Remax.com. Yes, they do, but they're lazy and they don't want to spend hours every night searching for property. We are offering to save them their time and do all of that searching for them. That's why these pages convert so well. So we tell them, give us the area that you're looking, the type of property that you're looking for. And then we fold down and we say, great. We're going to put together that custom list for you. 
tell us how to get this report to you. And they fill out all of their contact information and then begin home search. Now, here is the really interesting thing. And I was going to keep this a secret, but this is the big secret that I missed for years. I left millions of dollars on the table because I left this step out the last time I was running these pay-per-click systems. Check this out. When that person submits their information, we send them to a thank you page. And it says, we've received your search criteria and are working on putting together a custom list of homes for you. You're now ready for the next step in a successful home buying process, getting pre-approved for your mortgage. When people fill this form out, this lead is sent to you as the mortgage broker in real time. And get this, because the real estate leads are so valuable, when you partner with a real estate partner, they will cover the cost of all of the pay-per-click advertising to drive the real estate leads. And all of these mortgage pre-approvals that come through this system to you are free, paid for by your real estate partner. And to give you the statistics, right now, system-wide, we're at about 15% of all of the real estate leads that come through this system, 15% of those people fill out for this mortgage pre-approval, which is a fantastic lead for you in your business. So ultimately, how does this work? Well, We've got different traffic sources. I know I've been talking a lot about Google and focusing on Google, but we can generate very high quality leads from many different sources. Facebook, pay-per-click is one of them. Google, and we're running Google retargeting ads, Google banner ads, and Google search ads to drive traffic to these pages. Yahoo and MSN also generate not as much volume as Google, but a very cost-effective, consistent source of traffic. We drive traffic from all of these sources to this page. They convert into real estate leads, and then they convert into mortgage pre-approval leads for you. Pretty cool, right? Now, in order to set this whole thing up, you've seen the websites, you've seen the pages, but really what do you need to set this thing up? The rubber meets the road. Here's where I'm going to show you exactly how you can set this up on your own. First off, you need an AdWords account. Always start with a Google account because it gives you the most reliable traffic and lets you get off the ground quickly. You can sign up for one of these accounts for free at adwords.google.com. The second thing that you need is an unbranded direct response website. That's the type of page that I just walked you through. The third thing that you need is a real estate partner with excellent email and follow-up systems. And I cannot stress how important it is to partner with the right person to help you build this business. You also need your own email and follow-up systems. And you'll notice that I use that word quite a bit, but it's crucial that you have a process in place so that when a new lead comes into your business, you have the highest possible chance of converting that lead into a deal and an actual commission in your business. This system, even though you can dial it up and dial it down at will, you want to have it dialed up all the time. And really the only way that you can handle the lead flow that these systems generate is to have a system in place so that you know what's happening with every lead as they go through the follow-up system. So step number one, setting up your pay-per-click account. You need advertisements inside that account to actually convert this traffic into leads. I'm constantly testing these on a weekly basis, tweaking little things like adding commas, adding periods, adding exclamation points, writing the perfect ad to drive more traffic into our site. The reason being is that the better that your advertisements perform, the less the agencies like Google, Yahoo, and MSN will charge you 
for that click. So it's really important to make sure that you are using good advertisements. Now, this ad that you see on the page here is my best converting advertisement through all of this testing. And you can see down there at the bottom, we've got a gray box highlighted that says CTR. That stands for click-through rate. It's kind of a nerdy way of just saying how many people clicked on that ad. And you can see there, 14.0% of the traffic on the front page of Google clicks on that advertisement. That means if 100 people see the front page of Google, 14 of them will choose to go to my website based on this advertisement. Here's how it works. Mississauga House Sale. Everybody's looking for a good deal and you have to call out the specific area where you want that lead from. Looking, And then we go from the headline into the subhead, which is looking for detached towns, condos. That breaks out all of the property types that exist in Mississauga, basically. So we're telling people, are you looking for any type of house, right? Then the third line, it says search by type, price, bed, bath, letting people know the exact conversion process that we're about to put them through. So not only is this ad converting very well and driving lots of traffic to our page, but it's also pre-framing the experience that we're about to put them through on the landing page. So they're much higher. There's a much higher likelihood that they will convert once they get on that page. So please, you have my full permission. Take this ad, swipe and deploy, make it the first ad that you put into your campaign because I know it will get you results. Now, one of the other major benefits to driving traffic through Google, Yahoo, and MSN is that we are targeting people at what's called the ZMOT moment. And ZMOT is a phrase that was generated by Google and it stands for the zero moment of truth. And to break it down into a nutshell, what that means is that when people are searching for real estate, they are pre-programmed to go to Google and type real estate search queries into the bar. When they're doing those searches, because of what they're searching, you know that they're hot for what you got you know that they're actually looking to purchase a house or if they're going out and they're searching for sneakers, you know they're interested in sneakers. That's the zero moment of truth when they're ready to start that buying cycle. And by targeting the proper keywords, we are able to bring in a very highly targeted lead that's very early in the buying cycle. So what I've done here is I've given you, again, my top performing keywords from this campaign that have people in that zero moment of truth experience. And if you haven't heard of ZMOT before, I highly recommend that after this webinar, head on over to Google, type in ZMOT, and just do a little bit of a read on the mentality of what's happening with people when they're online and when they're searching. Very interesting stuff. So, um, on this keyword phrase, we've got houses for sale in Mississauga, homes for sale in Mississauga, Mississauga homes for sale, Mississauga real estate, and real estate. Those three key phrases, houses, homes, and real estate, are going to be your top three performers when you're targeting real estate leads. And then obviously, you want to preface them with the area name where you're looking to generate those leads. Now, this becomes very important once you have your campaign up and running and you're generating these leads. We have found that most real estate partners that we partner with cannot handle the volume of leads that this system can generate when it's turned on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So it's very important that you use the ad scheduling feature to turn it up and turn it down, uh, just like a faucet. So when you want leads in the business, you can turn it up. And then when you're too busy, you have too many leads, you can then turn it back down. It's a great way to make sure that you're not overwhelming your real estate partner and yourself with new leads. 
Now, one of the questions that I get asked all the time, is there peak times during the day? Yes, absolutely. At roughly 9.15 in the morning, when everybody gets to work, the boss closes the door, we get a spike of leads that come through the system. Same thing around 1.15 in the afternoon, everybody gets back from lunch, boss closes the door, boom, we get leads consistently through the system. There's another peak kind of in the evening, just after seven o'clock when there's another peak where we get a number of leads that come through the system. So those are your three peak times throughout the day and you wanna kind of structure your lead follow-ups so that you have people available during those times. Obviously, turn it on and turn it off based on your business. You get to control when the leads come in. You also get to set and control your entire advertising budget. So it isn't like you just fire Google your credit card and they can just bill it up to whatever they want. You set a daily budget and a monthly budget and they will not spend more than you put in your budget. And using this feature, we can actually pre-program how many leads you want to generate in a month. Like you saw from our statistics, our leads are gonna cost anywhere from you know $10 on the really low end to around $14 on the high end. That means if you want 100 leads a month, if you can put 1,000 to $1,400 into this advertising account. And if you look at that and you, you know, do some quick math, what's one commission worth to you? More than $1,400, right? Especially on the real estate side of things and on the mortgage side of things. So if you can close one out of just 100 people, that's a great monthly budget for you to start at because you know in the first 30 to 60 days, you're going to be positive on your investment in your pay-per-click. So you can take my experience and use that to extrapolate out the numbers and see how much money you'll actually spit out the back end of this marketing system that you're setting up in your business. That's why budgeting is really important. Now, I mentioned that all of these leads are targeted to your marketplace. You do that two ways. One, by choosing the proper keywords in your advertising account so that the ads only show up when people type in the area. And you can also target leads in a specific radius. So you can see in this campaign, I'm only going to show my ads on computer screens of people that are living in the Mississauga area. So when you're setting up your campaign, you just choose your location and click on save. So to wrap up that core account building section of today's event, pay-per-click gets you quality traffic of consumers that want homes and need mortgages. And you put your advertising and pull them into your business at the very moment that they have decided that they want what you have to offer. You've got leads that have searched with buying intent that show up when you want them in your business, from the local area where you do business at a price that you have full control over. That is what online advertising can build us in our business. It's incredible. Now, that is the driving of the traffic. I wanted to get back into the websites just for a second because this is where I see a lot of people that make mistakes when they leave an event like this and they run out They'll set up a pay-per-click account, they won't listen to my consulting, and they will say, I'll just drive the traffic to my regular website. Well, that is a crippling mistake and can cost you quite a bit of money in advertising dollars. So when it comes to online marketing, the direct response website is incredibly important because of lead conversion. The website that you see on the screen here is Guelph Second Mortgages. This is my dad's website, and I have tested this website seven ways from Sunday, man. I We've done everything to try and boost the response that comes through this website. At its maximum, to generate a mortgage lead just driving cold Google traffic to this page, it converts at 2%, which means that if I drive 100 visitors to this website, I'm only going to get two leads. Then you take our incredibly ugly, non-professional, direct response website, and it converts at over 10%, which means that if you drive the exact same 100 visitors to this website rather than the branded one, you're going to get 10 names and phone numbers to follow up on rather than two. Now, 
I know we're all loan officers and mortgage brokers. You're all better at numbers than I am, but I figure it's important to kind of lay this out. If you're paying $2 per click, that means to drive 100 visitors to your website is going to cost you $200 in traffic. If you drive those exact same people to your regular website, you get two leads. That's $100 per lead that you're generating through your system. If we do 10% on our direct response site, that's $20 per lead. So if you actually look at your return on investment numbers coming through the system, it makes a massive difference. And don't forget that another 10 to 15% of those real estate leads that are generated through that real estate page are going to ask to be pre-approved for a mortgage and qualify themselves as saying, I'm not working with another mortgage broker. I need help. I want what you've got. And again, remember, when you position it on the real estate side, you can get your allied associate, your real estate partner, to cover the cost of all the pay-per-click on the front. So. That's what we've got. We're driving traffic through Google, Yahoo, MSN, and Facebook. If you really want to swim in the traffic, you're driving all of that traffic to the real estate conversion page, which converts a high amount of those people into leads. And then you're dropping them on the thank you page that says, congratulations, we're going to send you the information that you want. Did you know getting pre-approved for a mortgage is the first step in successfully buying a home? Fill out that information. You've now got leads that you can drive over to a real estate team to get your foot in the door and be their number one partner, and you're generating mortgage pre-approval leads that are coming into your business. Now, this part, the allied associate, is the difference between having this be a rainbow of income, kind of like a grenade of income in your business, and having a long-term sustainable business that works for years and years and builds you a quality partner. You have to find the right real estate partner to work with. Please learn from my years of experience. I've been doing this for just over six years now, and these are lessons that are hard learned, and I wanna save you the hours of frustration that I have gone through. So you want a large team or producer so that you can tap into an already large source of business. This means that when you're going in and having these meetings and setting these systems up with the realtors, if you're talking to somebody that's only doing a deal a month, you're only looking at picking up an extra deal a month outside of what you're generating with the real estate system. If you walk into another office that's doing 50 ends a month or 100 ends a month, you're tapping into 50 to 100 extra ends a month that you're going to be able to take a shot at on the mortgage side of the transaction. And you have to put the same amount of effort into both of those deals. So it's the old 80-20 rule. And please, I'm not trying to um, get down on anybody. If you know me, I'm a very humble, nice guy. But we need to play at the top end of the marketplace so that you can provide the best life possible for your family. Let's not swim with the body at bottom 80%. We've got to be at the top 20% because life gets easier and you work with better partners. They do more business and it's easier for you to work with them. So they have to be large producers. I highly recommend that you only approach and only think about people that are in the top 20% of your board numbers. They must have an existing follow-up system in place in their business already. The perfect partner is already buying leads from Zillow or one of the other lead generation sites. They have an inside sales department that converts the leads for them. They already have an infrastructure in place that you can plug this new source of leads into. And they must understand lead generation based on the numbers. They have to understand that, okay, I'm gonna generate 100 leads. If I close one, I'm positive return on my investment. And that leads into our mindset hack to success. And really the conversation of what is 100 leads. This is very important. Somebody that talks about return on investment 
and understanding the numbers of how a lead generation system like this works. If you take 100 leads and you close five of them, what is five real estate transactions worth in your local marketplace? That is the question. Now, you're going to get two types of answers from a real estate professional when you ask them that question. And you will see the ones that aren't right for the system and their eyes will glaze over and they'll sit back in their chair and they'll think, oh, that's an exhausting 95 no's. That's brutal. That's a terrible conversion rate. I get the majority of my business through referrals and my closing ratio is 90%. Well, this system is not right for you because what we're really looking for is the person that understands that it's five awesome deals that leads to multiple repeats and referrals in their business. And if they can put in a dollar and take out five for every dollar that they invest in marketing, that's our perfect partner of somebody that understands it by the numbers because this becomes a no brainer when it's based on return on investment. So you've got to partner with the, <laughs> with the person that sees the five awesome deals, not the 95 soul crushing no thank yous, right? And that has taken me a long time to get to and that's my personal mindset for success with this system. So really, there's four different ways that you can set this up and profit from it in your business. The first business model that I see loan officers and mortgage brokers using to set the system up is profit plus free leads. These mortgage brokers are setting the system up themselves, generating the leads up front, paying for all the advertising, and then selling the leads to a real estate partner at a markup. And this does actually work really well. I built a nationwide business based on that principle many, many moons ago. It's not my favorite model because I believe that you can build a stronger relationship with that referral partner and there's more money in the referrals on the back end with the right partner than there is in selling the leads up front. However, if you have a large brokerage and you're just looking to set up an automated income stream in your life, you can just turn this system on, generate the leads, and sell the leads to the real estate partners, and you make a profit before you even turn a mortgage loan. That's number one. Number two is free leads. So you give your real estate partner direct cost leads and exclusive access to the system. So you go to a real estate partner and say, hey, I've got this real estate lead generation system that I can set up in this marketplace. Leads are going to cost us between $12 and $15. And I would like you to run a hundred leads through this system. Are you in or are you out? You give them direct cost. So they pay the Google advertising budget, knowing that you're going to get 10 to 15 pre-approval leads per month. And the real estate partner is paying all of the ad fees. Very cool. Number three is very cost effective lead generation. This is where you split the cost with your real estate partner. You go in and say, listen, this is a 50-50 deal. I'm investing in your business so that you'll send me all the referrals that you have in your bank. Obviously, you're going to say that with a little bit more cooth than I am on the presentation today. I'm just laying out how it goes. Obviously, you know how to finesse the sale, right? So I will work with you. I'll split the cost on this and we're going to share business back and forth and we're partners in this system and you go one to one and the two of you work the system together then you've got multiple referral leads so you pay for the system and you free sample your way to multiple referral sources again this is you setting up the system on your own and rather than working with just one partner in one office you go out and you distribute them to five six seven eight offices in the area and start pulling referrals from all of those different sources. So you're not giving exclusive access to anybody to your market, but you're pulling in multiple referral sources in your mortgage business. It's 100% completely up to you how you run this system. My personal favorite is number two, generating the free leads for your mortgage business and getting that real estate partner to pay for those leads. Now, again, the things that you need, starting off with an adwords.google.com account, 
then branching out into Yahoo and MSN. If you tap out all of that traffic, which is so incredibly rare, you can then step into Facebook and start doing local marketing on Facebook to drive traffic. You need that unbranded direct response website in order to make the whole thing work. You need a real estate partner with excellent email and follow-up systems, which runs us into a problem. Chris, how am I supposed to explain all this to a real estate partner? I'm not a nerd. I'm not a geek. I don't like tech stuff. How am I supposed to do all this? Well, no worries. I'm here to help you make the deal. All you have to do is just set up a meeting with the techie guy, that's me, and I'll conduct a private webinar with you and your new real estate partner to explain the whole system for you and help you bring that referral partner into your business. And ultimately what I want is to personally build this system for you. And I told you at the very beginning that for a limited number of people, I will come in as essentially a consultant into your business and help you launch and maintain this whole system for you. But this is not for everybody. And here's who it's not for, people who refuse to take action. You remember we talked about the rainbows of income. If you're one of those people that's on their ninth rainbow of the year and you're just looking at another shiny object, but you haven't picked up any of the old shiny objects that you were obsessed with two months ago, this probably isn't for you. We're looking for people that are looking to build systems and then build on top of them and have exponential growth in their business, not just a little grenade of income, right? We're not looking for people who are not looking to work with real estate partners. Wow, that was a really complicated way of saying that. But people who are not willing to work with real estate partners, if you haven't figured it out by now, you got to work with a real estate agent, right? People who would rather buy the next shiny object instead of actually investing in their business. If you consider yourself an information junkie, this probably isn't for you. Now, here's what this will do for you. I will personally build and manage and maintain a Google pay-per-click account for you. My team manages that whole system for you. You will get my Google approved lead generation website built for you, which we are constantly optimizing, testing, and tweaking so that you get the best conversion on your leads. You will get mortgage pre-approval leads delivered to you instantly, and you will have me personally helping you sell this system to your real estate partner and consulting with you on a monthly basis in order to make sure that you're converting as many of these mortgage opportunities as you can into real deals and then referrals that build your business exponentially. You get monthly website testing and optimization by me and my team. We manage your pay-per-click accounts on a daily basis, and you get an area-exclusive one-year license. I told you at the very beginning, I'm only working with specific people in specific marketplaces. This has to be a good fit for both of us. When we're a good fit, I will only work with one mortgage professional per marketplace with this system. And in that, you get those monthly group coaching sessions with me. Now, you can't buy this outright on the webinar because we have to be a good fit. And we already have um, over 50 markets have now been claimed. So we've got to make sure that your market is still available and that we're a good fit for each other. So to apply, head over to www.cwjstone.com forward slash AA, which stands for autopilot advertising. Now, there is a little bit of a disclaimer. I'm not sure where we're at on the numbers on the webinar right now, but I can only accept five new clients at a time because of the personal work involved in setting up the accounts and the initial calls that I have to make to make sure that you're successful, that we find the right real estate partner, that I help you close that real estate partner, then we help manage the system and run it. I'm only one man. We're not this massive company. It's very intimate here. So because of that, I can only accept five new clients at a time. Now, when you go to apply, there is a 100% refundable deposit. That refundable deposit is $750. It shows me that you're serious and it triggers our 15 minute phone interview. So head on over to cwjstone.com forward slash AA and put down that deposit. It's 100% fully refundable. We will get on the phone together. You will get an email or a phone call from my assistant, Lynn, to find a time that's good for both of us to get on the phone. And then we'll sit down and we'll discuss it. Now, if it's not right for you, 
obviously I will help you as best I can to set this system up on your own. I'm totally cool like that. I want you to get massive value out of this interview. But if it's not right, before I hang up the phone, I give you that $750 deposit back. Now, what about the investment for the actual system? We set this up at a $10,000 annual licensing fee. So every year on the anniversary date, it's $10,000 in order to maintain this system. It's $1,000 per month for management of the pay-per-click account and the website. And again, that's something that you can share with your real estate partner. Now today, for the five applicants that come through this webinar, I'm taking that licensing fee and I'm turning it into a lifetime license. That means it's a one-time payment. It does not recur annually. And I'm dropping the price in half from $10,000 to $5,000. And you get a lifetime access to your marketplace. And you are the only mortgage professional in your marketplace that I will work with. I have also slashed the monthly maintenance fee in half to $500 for the monthly maintenance. That's a saving of $5,000 per year, $10,000 a year after that, and $500 per month on management of this system. Now, the other thing that I mentioned at the beginning of the webinar is a special bonus. You saw that other area on the front page of the website with the Google 7 pack. I have a program that's called Local Google Traffic that we've been running for just over two years that helps put your business in that seven pack and generates an overwhelming amount of social proof from your past customers. This has become very important in the lead conversion process because when you're getting these new leads, they're talking to you on the phone, they then go to Google and research you to find out who you are and if you are who you say you are. The local Google traffic system makes it so that those people see you on the front page and they see you with more ratings, reviews, and testimonials from local customers than anybody else in the marketplace. That standalone product, local Google traffic, is a $2,000 value that we sell via webinars like this all of the time. You get that program for free as part of your autopilot advertising system. So to review very quickly, you get a fully built Google pay-per-click advertising campaign for your local market. We also include a Yahoo account and an MSN advertising account if you need additional traffic. You get the fully built and optimized real estate lead generation website with exclusive access to your marketplace. You get the mortgage pre-approval lead generation page that sends those leads directly to you. I will get on a webinar and I will sell the system for you to your local real estate partner. You also get monthly group coaching sessions with me and a done for you local Google traffic system in your business. So I would love to see if your market's available and to work with you one on one as a consultant to help you set this system up, launch it and get it running in your business. If you feel this is a good fit for you and you've got a top tier real estate partner that you feel that would be a great partner in your business, I sincerely, I sincerely urge you to fill out the application and let's just get on the phone and see if it's a good fit for either of us. You do that by heading over to cwjstone.com forward slash AA. So let's get into the actual Q&A. We'll get this loaded up. You'll have to excuse me. I'm going to take a, take a little sip of green tea here and then, uh, and then hop into the questions. So if you have any questions about the program, just type those into the GoToWebinar control panel and I'll get to them as soon as I get back. All right. Thanks for holding with me there. It's crazy how you can actually talk for an hour. I'm normally a pretty introverted guy, except for when I have to get on stage or whatever. It's been a while since I had to chat this long. So 
Thanks for holding out with me. So let's get into the Q&A about this system. The first question here from Gary. Gary, thank you very much for your question. How much do you go per click? Okay, so how much is the cost per click is, I believe, the question there. So each market fluctuates a little bit. Um, in the major cities, sometimes we can see cost per click as high as 5 or $6 per click. Um, in most marketplaces, we're able to drive that cost down to normally somewhere in between the dollar to two dollar per click mark. Um, that really is actually one of the benefits of having the management because when Google looks at you as an advertiser, there's this thing called a quality score. And it, it ranges across a number of factors. The keywords that you choose how you structure your account and, and group all of your ads and your keywords together, how well your advertisements actually convert traffic from the front page, and the end user experience that that Google user has going through your funnel. So every time you launch out a campaign, a physical person from Google will actually, before your account goes live, as we're tra we track all our metrics through Google Analytics, like you saw at the beginning of the webinar, we will see traffic that comes through our analytics before our ads go live. And that's real people from Google going through the process that we have set up for our client in order to A, approve everything, but B, get a general feel for the experience that that user is going to go through. The more pleasant the experience, the better that you are rewarded as an advertiser. So the higher your quality score as an advertiser on Google, the less you pay per click. The reason for that is Google wants to reward the good advertisers and penalize the ones that aren't giving Google users a good user experience. So one of the ways that we drive that cost per click down is by knowing what Google wants and providing them with a reliable funnel that they're used to seeing that we know is going to get approved. So hopefully, um, I'm assuming there was a little bit more of a back question to how much do you pay per click? And those are the factors that go into it and why it's important. So thank you very much for that. From Jane, Jane, thank you for the question. What assurance do I have that you won't get slapped again? That is a phenomenal question. And Jane, I cannot guarantee you that I will not get Google slapped again. What we do do is make sure that we're as, as far removed, essentially, from Google, essentially, itself. So when we set this campaign up for you, it's built under your Google account. So you technically have ownership of the account and we're more like consultants that manage it for you on a regular basis. So that account is actually yours rather than ours. Um, back in the day, all of the accounts were under my master account. When I got slapped, everything went dark. The way that we've set it up this time is that it's yours um, and we manage it for you. So that's one layer of insulation. The other thing is that we've now branched out from our traffic sources. Um, I'd like to think that I've somewhat learned from my mistakes and we now drive traffic from Yahoo, from MSN, and from Facebook. And even though it might be about 40 to 45% of the traffic, if for whatever reason we end up uh, having trouble with Google or for what, you know, like Google blows up or something, we can still generate roughly 45% of the traffic through those other sources so we're somewhat insulated from it on that side as well. So a great question, definitely something to think about, but we have structured the business so that it's all under your information rather than ours, and you have control over it. Thank you very much for the question. The next question is, you mentioned banner ads and retargeting. I didn't see any. Very good question. So inside the, the Google pay-per-click account, we do what's called retargeting. And what that means is that when somebody comes to one of our lead generation websites and does not fill out the form, 
we have banner advertisements that go inside your account that follow those people around the internet when they're going to different blog sites, article sites, all those sorts of things. And it prompts them to come back to the site and complete their search. One of the reasons that we do that is it's a great branding tool for you and your business so that they see you all over the internet. And we know that that user is highly targeted and they want what we've got, but it sometimes takes an average of seven times for people to see our advertising message before they're willing to convert on the website and leave their information. So we follow them for 60 days and make sure that they have the opportunity to become a lead in your business. So that's an excellent insight. I should put together a slide that shows exactly how that works, um, but that's what we're doing with it. For some of our more advanced consulting clients, we're also using that retargeting platform to show banner advertisements for their mortgage business. And that's kind of a really cool way to get in front of a customer that doesn't even really know that they need a mortgage yet. So if they come to the website and they don't convert, we can also show banner advertisements for your mortgage business with your face, with your branding for your mortgage business. And all of a sudden they've started looking at real estate, haven't really thought about a mortgage yet. And all of a sudden there's this mortgage broker that's local to them that's showing up all over the internet. That's like you just launched this massive PR campaign when really it's just focused on that one person that you know is getting ready to buy a house. So um, that's how we're using uh, the banner advertisements. We don't drive uh, direct traffic through the Google Content Network. That's Im important to note with banner advertising for anybody that's that may be a little bit more advanced level internet marketing out there, simply because the quality of the leads does not stack up to the leads that we generate through the search section of Google Search. So we're actually targeting people on that front page of Google that are doing those searches and uh, to your to your follow-up question there yes absolutely we are targeting ipads iphones mobile devices and uh and providing them with a responsive experience uh, through that process the next okay so the next question, sorry, I can't read and talk at the same time. <laughs> I'm one of those, I'm one of those guys. Uh, what happens if the realtor says no? Um, that's okay. Um, I mean, just, just like in lead generation, you know, it's, it's not going to be as extreme as we're going to have to go through a hundred leads and get 95 no's to get to five yeses. Our numbers are going to be a little bit different than that because we're, you know, direct marketing to people. But, um, that's okay. It's about finding the right partner. I've actually got a funny story about one of the people that bought the autopilot advertising system that wasn't quote unquote successful with it. They were out in the uh, Victoria or excuse me, the Vancouver marketplace in Canada. They bought the rights to the marketplace and went out and he was a big thinker, heavy hitter, went out and just started calling the top five people on the real estate board and got two appointments with two of the top five teams on that board that he was in. We set up the appointments. I did the presentation. You know, they were engaged. Each presentation lasted over an hour. It was awesome. Came back after the second presentation. He rung me up on the phone two days later. He said, Chris, man, I got some bad news. They both said no. They don't want the lead generation system. And I thought, you know, because I'm, I'm part of the sale, I'm invested in the whole thing. And I was like, oh, man, that sucks. Well, don't worry, you know, we'll get another one. He said, well, well, it's, it's not really that bad. They're both going to start working with me and send me mortgage referrals, but they just don't want the lead generation system. So that's my goal. That's what I was looking for. So I kind of got what I wanted. I'm going to release my marketplace, take care of the 60 day money back guarantee, and I'm just going to go work these referral sources. So even though it was we didn't get the system launched in his marketplace. He was able to go out and actually pick up two referral sources from the appointments that we did because nobody had actually gone to the effort to bring them something that would help them build their business. So even though, yes, there may be failure as part of the process, it's not always a bad thing. And anytime that you can get in front of a top producing realtor with something that's unique and has value for them, it's certainly worth 
uh, getting in front of those people and actually doing that appointment. So that's a, a great question. Yes, you know, people will say no. That's okay. We're in sales. Um, it's on to the next one. It's a good thing. We're really good marketers because we don't necessarily have to focus on those no's. Um, to all of you that have left kudos and thank yous and all that information, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, I, I really enjoy it. And the advertising credits. Yes, thank you. Um, in order to claim your $100 Google pay-per-click advertising credit, you email Lynn, L-Y-N-N, at cwjstone.com. That's L-Y-N-N at cwjstone.com. And the subject line on the email, just put $100 ad credit and she'll make sure that she fires one of those off to you straight away. I believe we have seven or eight in the queue right now. Um, they only give us 30 at a time and then we have to re-trigger them and get another round. So for the first seven people, you'll get yours right away. If you're after that, it might take a day or two to get those advertising credits out to you. So th thank you in advance for your patience. And I'm also seeing um, from one of my helpful assistants that's inside the uh, the event that we've um, that we have some applicants. I'm not going to name them by name, but uh, for those of you that have applied, thank you so much. I really look forward to uh, to getting on the phone with you and speaking with you. So we'll do. Uh, we are eight minutes over time here. Thank you so much for taking your time. I'll take one last question here, and then we will sign off for the rest of the day. Again, this is Chris Johnstone. Thank you so much for taking your time here today. We'll take one more question and then we'll sign off here. So down here at the bottom, can I just run this myself and scrub the real estate leads? Uh, yeah. I mean, yes, but no, not really. I, if and I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that, but if if you're gonna run the system and you're gonna set it up, we're we're making a promise to people in the marketplace that we're gonna help them find a house, and we have to fulfill that promise. Um, so that that would be something where on the, on the interview, I'm happy to to still spend 15 minutes on the phone with you, and and help you set the thing up, um, but. No, you can't run it that way. We have to fulfill that obligation to that real estate client. And there's millions of dollars in commissions that will come through that form of the system. And you just don't want to slap the universe in the face like that. You want to make sure that that stuff gets taken care of. Um, so no, I would not recommend just running the system and throwing the real estate leads out to go after the mortgage leads. It's definitely worth it to set up a, a proper partner. So with that, everybody, I hope you found massive value in this presentation. Uh, you know, tell your friends, head on over to the Facebook page, cwjstone.com forward slash Facebook. I would love it if you left me some positive feedback on the Facebook wall. Thanks again so much for your time today. I really truly value and respect it. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the day and a wonderful weekend coming up. Have a great day, everybody.